back. Welcome back. We're here looking at the end of the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 8, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we have been following the last two trading days. We hit the 200 moving average up here at 15.1K, and today we tested the 50 moving average. We did bounce from here, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a um, fairly big rally tomorrow as it usually is Friday, uh, but also because this could be a flag pattern. So we could be seeing a flag pattern here indicating that we may rally and if we break above the 200 moving average here, then we may go significantly higher. However, if we break below the 50 moving average tomorrow, then that opens the door to 14,000 13.6k uh, 13 and then all the way to the bottom here of 13k. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD has crossed the signal line, it's becoming bearish. The stochastic is bearish as well, and the RSI is flat at this point. So we have been selling off, it, we have tested major support level here, and therefore we should be rallying. But the question is whether or not we manage to take out this candlestick and then after that, those candlesticks there, because this is an area of major resistance. So let's look at uh, the, the S&P 500. Very similar here, we did fall uh, towards uh, 4,450 and then rally in the session, yeah, session, session and then at 4,500, give or take. So we're also forming a flag pattern here. If we manage to break out of this flag pattern above these two candlesticks, and then their measure move here is roughly 5, 500 points to the upside, uh, indicating that we will basically go to uh, roughly uh, 4,900, 4,000 uh, or 5,000 to the base the all-time highs but that is to be seen if we break below the 50 moving average then we could drop all the way down to 4150 and uh, before we do that we have to basically break the, uh, below the 50 moving average down here at 4422 if you look at technical indicators for the daily chart we can see that macd has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum stochastic is still bearish and the rsi is turning around and becoming bullish but it's going to be interesting to see whether or not this is technically a bullish flag or whether or not we manage to break below the 50 moving average so dow jones very similar here this could also be a flag pattern we did break below the 50 moving average and then rallied trading at the 34.5k uh, and if we basically get a candlestick that is full underneath the 50 moving average then we may drop to the very bottom however if we break above uh, 35.3k and then we may go and test it 35.8 and then to the all-time highs here 36.9k technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish stochastic is turning around here becoming bullish and the rsi is bullish as well friday usually tends to be more bullish than bearish well you'll basically see so if we look at the european market the dax here still looking uh, terrible so economic output at the, the moment, moment is, uh, is uh, not looking good for the world economy uh, all over the place whether or not you look at the chinese um, economy the united states economy or for the european economy there are many factors that basically um, come to the conclusion that in, in the next um, next um, year or two we will basically see a recession if it hasn't already started market is still strong at the moment in place for example the united states but still monetary policy is going to change that will affect the economy significantly and uh, we may be seeing here um just start of it in the european market as um, this does definitely not look like a flag pattern this just looks like a complete re um like um rejection here at the 50 moving average and what we may see here is that we will drop back to the very lows and make a double bottom it doesn't mean that we have to break below 12.4k uh, but we may see a double bottom here before we continue to the upside macd is basically crossing the signal line right now indicating bearish momentum stochastic is in negative territory uh, 
and this is also bearish momentum and so is the RSI. So momentum is definitely to the downside in the DAX and if we manage to take out uh, 14k then we may drop very low uh, uh, indeed. If you look at the volatility index, we can see that the, da uh, the VIX completely turned around today. It shot up towards the middle of the bullish band yesterday at the 25, and today we're trading at the 23. And uh, yes, technical indices have kind of turned around, but if you look at the MACD, it is crossing the signal line in negative territory. And if we manage to break above 25 and also 26.5, which is the 50 moving average, then we may see this VIX go up towards 30 and 35 but at the moment it is hesitating and basically turning around and we will most likely most find some in this area. area of roughly 20 to, to 22. If we look at the uh, 10 year we can see that this continues to to uh, rally it kind of broke out of the flag pattern here and that basically means that we may see levels F, uh, that we haven't seen since 2009. So up towards a 3.2 that is very likely at this current stage this is getting very uh, very overbought at this point we are at uh, 74 in the rsi uh, but technical indicators overall are very bullish so hope you found this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos good luck and thank you very much